This is how you do daily maintenance on the Alera Chemistry Analyzer. The first thing you will need to do is to remove condensation from the reagent compartment and camera lenses. To do this, bring up the access menu by pressing FN and F12 on the keyboard. Then you will select R by either hitting Enter when it is highlighted or pressing R on the keyboard. You will hear the analyzer unlock and you will be able to open the lid. Next, pull out the reagent carousel by gripping the handle and pulling up. You will then wipe the interior with a Kim wipe, making sure to rid the compartment of condensation buildup on the lenses. Place the carousel back in the compartment, making sure it's sitting properly, then close the lid. To complete the process, hit Accept, which is the key F10. Next, we will check the hopper, which contains the cuvettes for testing. While still on the access menu, select hopper by either scrolling down until it is highlighted and hitting enter, or by hitting H on the keyboard. The screen will then bring up how many empty slots need to be filled. To load the cuvettes, you will insert a sleeve at a diagonal angle with the cuvette side facing you. Press down until it clicks and then pull the sleeve out. Load the cuvettes until all the slots are filled. Press Escape twice to return to the main menu. Once you are at the main menu, you can do maintenance on the probe. First, you will clean the touch plate and probe pathway. On the main menu, select Utilities, the probe. Clean the probe pathway with a cotton swab and water. Next, select Position Transfer Arm to ISE Port. The probe will swing around to the ISE port. It should be just off center to the right of the ISE port. Next, grip the arm of the probe to move it above the sample hole. Use an alcohol wipe to gently clean the probe. Next, select Test Alignment at Wash Bath. The probe will move to the wash bath and hit against the sides of the plate a few times to get aligned. Select Escape to return to the main menu. The last part of maintenance will be to check the fluid levels. Open the side compartment to check the waste container. If it is full of cuvettes, take it out and empty it into the green waste bins. Next, check the fluids. The fluid in the middle bottle should be full. The one on either side should be empty. This concludes daily maintenance. Be sure to initial on the maintenance form. To run daily QC on the main menu, select Requisition and then Quality Control. Select L1 to order the tests for L1 QC. Press F6 to clear previous testing and then Y to delete the tests. Next, select F12. This will pull up a list of possible analytes. Select the analytes that you will be testing, then press Accept. Do the same with Level 2, and then select Escape twice to return to the main menu. It may flag that you need to calibrate an analyte. For instructions on calibration, see the calibration video. To continue with QC, select Cup Segment Placement. You will need to give the segment a number and then press enter. If a number is already in use, it will tell you and you will need to select a different number. Next, hit F12 to pull up a list of patients with orders and select L1 and on the next line, select L2. Grab two cups and a segment and place them in the slot numbered accordingly. Using the L1 and L2 controls, Fill the cups with three to four drops. Press F7 to place the segment. Wait until you hear the door unlock before you open it. Place the segments on the black horns, then close the lid and hit Accept, F10. QC will begin running. If it fails, an attention box will flash on the bottom left of the screen. Hit F9 to see what failed. Repeat failed QC. To see the QC result, return to the main menu, select Requisitions, Quality Control, and then select each level to see the result.
Select R for requisition, then P for patient. If you see yourself on the list, you can type the first few letters of your name and then select your name. Hit INS to add new accession. If you need to be added in as a patient, select INS. Enter in your last name, first name, and patient ID. Next, tab all the way down until you reach the test section. Hit F12 to bring up a list of analytes. They will be abbreviated. Once you have added all desired tests, hit Accept, then escape to the main menu. Next, select C for cup segment placement. Assign the segment a number and then hit Enter. Hit F12 to bring up a list of patients with orders and select the desired patients. Place a few drops of patient sample into a cup and place it on the segment by the corresponding number. Select F7 to place the segment. Wait until the door unlocks to open the compartment. Place the segment securely onto the black horns. Close the lid, then hit Accept to begin testing. To check results, at the main menu select Requisitions, then Patient, your name, and then the appropriate accession. If an analyte needs to be calibrated, select R for Requisition, and then C for Calibration. Enter in the abbreviated name of the analyte, or hit F12 to pull up a list of all analytes. Once you have entered in the tests that need calibration, the name of the calibration will be displayed. Find the appropriate calibrator, place a few drops in a cup, and then hit F7 to place the segment on the instrument. If calibration fails, an attention box will pop up. If calibration passes, you will be able to then run QC.